Now, there is a technique named after you called the Deluski technique, where you use robotics to perform a safer procedure. So tell us about this technique and the advantages. So robotic surgery is relatively new to the field of thoracic surgery. Okay. It's started becoming adopted by um, a predominant number of surgeons in about 2010. And the difference is, if you imagine the older technique that I mentioned, the thoroscopic technique, where right. you have a handheld camera on a shaft and a couple of instruments that are like similar to chopsticks, mm -hmm. and you're trying to operate on a, on, a, on a lung where there's a large volume of blood traversing through the pulmonary arteries, and you're using chopsticks to try to isolate that artery and tie it off or staple it, right. um, it's counterintuitive. If you want to move to the right, you have to move your arms to the left, and if you want to move to the right, you have to move the arms to the, the opposite side. So many humans can't sort of do detailed, uh, fine maneuvers that way. And what the computer does, the robotic computer, is basically programmed to be intuitive. So it emulates your movements uh, of, like, of your human right. hand. So you can have instruments in there that have seven degrees of freedom, uh, like a small human hand, and get into very tight spaces and maneuver these instruments very wow. finely with uh, finute detail to be able to do complex surgery, like resecting an artery and reconstructing it, resecting the trachea and reconstructing it, doing a sleeve resection, all through pencil size incisions. So these instruments are about the diameter of a pencil and we put them in, four or five of them, and we do the whole operation that way. And we free up the, the lobe, and mm -hmm. we put the lobe in a bag. And as you probably know, the lung is like a balloon, and once you deflate the air out of the balloon, right. the specimen becomes much smaller. And then we sort of slip it out through one of the little incisions. So we avoid the whole need to open up the chest. And wow. typically, these patients come in, they have a surgery in about an hour to an hour and a half. They spend a night in the hospital, and then they go home the next day.